Hi there, welcome to Floating in Books. Today we're gonna to be doing a summer slash travel capsule wardrobe. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Today we're gonna to be doing something differently again because I thought we could do a summer lookbook slash travel capsule kind of thing. I will be traveling myself in a, in a few weeks. I'm staying within Northern Europe. We're having pretty cool weather at the moment and it doesn't seem to be improving a whole lot as I'm going away. So you do need to bear that in mind if you're seeing these outfits. I'm sort of dressing for the weather that we've been having in the past week or two, which has been pretty cool. Some days I've actually been cold if I'm wearing short sleeves um, with wind and rain and that sort of thing. So I definitely have a couple of options here for nicer weather than that, but I think I'm just going to dress for the kind of weather we're currently having. Okay, so if you wanna see me full length, this is the way we're gonna have to do it. Um, so this would be outfit number one. I'm wearing my new, well, I bought it last uh, spring, um, like maxi denim skirt with a vintage short sleeve blouse because I just thought that that was gonna be a good way to start things off. Of course, you don't have to go for a skirt if you don't want to, but I thought this could be a nice one because it's very versatile. It will go with a lot of things. Plus it's a little bit thicker, but because it does have the split, here we go, we do get a little bit of aeration. So this is not gonna be overly warm. You could wear this almost every single day if you're going away. And I think this can just be a really nice one. Plus it will go with any of the tops that I will be showing you today. So let me show you what top options I have in mind. So since it's not that warm, I've gone for mainly uh, longer sleeve shirts, but I could very easily change it into something like this with a shorter sleeve if I feel so inclined, if the weather does start to heat up. So I have this really fun printed number from Monkey, which I think, you know, if this, if you hold this up, if you tuck this into this denim skirt, I think it will go really, really well. And I have another denim option in the bottoms in a minute. So I think this can just be a really nice one. This is also crease free, just like this shirt here and still very breathable material. But I think the item to bring when you are traveling is a linen shirt. This is a green stripey number. These are going to get creased anyway. So whether they get a little bit creased in your suitcase, it doesn't really matter anyway. So yeah, linen it is. So I'm gonna be bringing this striped option from H&M and then this black option also from H&M. And then finally, this long sleeve blouse from Monkey. I like putting some brighter options like this fun shirt in my travel wardrobe. I don't think you have to just go with, you know, a denim, a black and a white or a beige. I'm just not a huge fan of that. So I actually like this because I think it's a really nice juxtaposition with black and white. But since I'm not entirely sure what the weather will be like uh, in a couple of weeks time, and maybe you are traveling to a warmer country, I thought I should also pack some tank tops. Um, so I really like this black knit one. It's a good summer staple. And I have this bright blue one. Again, will go really lovely with some of the lighter bottoms that I plan on bringing. And then I can just throw a black sheer cardigan on top for a warmer layer. And I especially like the look of this black cardigan with the blue. And then I have black and white stripy pants that I will be bringing so that we have a bit of a pattern there as well. And for that reason, I would also like to bring a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt, just really basic things that I can also then use, for instance, that apple green blouse or the green stripy blouse to layer over these things to go with other bottoms. And that way I have an extra layer to just see me through the day. So a few blouses and maybe one or two t-shirts and one or two tank tops because the weather is just so strange. When we do get sunny weather, it gets warm really quickly because we are in the midst of summer, but it's just a lot of wind, a lot of rain. We go from warmer to cooler weather within a single day. So that's why having these kind of options is very helpful. And finally, I think I'm gonna bring a dress just to be on the safe side. Um, this dress is from H&M years old, but it's one of my favorite dresses. And this again does increase, which is another plus when it comes to packing. Um, it is a like knee length height, but it looks really good with sneakers. 
It also goes with the black cardigan really well. And I've decided to bring some black sandals, which I will be showing you in a minute. So if you do get nicer weather, then I would have a summer dress. And then for an outer layer, I'm just going to be bringing my um, oversized denim jacket that I got from H&M years ago. This is my denim jacket of choice all year round, uh, especially in the summer season, I wear this a lot. It's very oversized, but I love how we get extra pockets. So it's also great for like storing your Metro card away or wherever you're going. And then I just got this knit in from Cezanne a couple of weeks ago. This is their Leotine sweater, I think. And it's this cotton knit, which I think will be perfect for like cooler nights and just having that extra layer. For bottoms, I'm not gonna plan on bringing too many. I mean, I think if I just have the skirt and a pair of jeans, I think I would be okay but I actually like to bring lighter weight options when I'm traveling because A, it just doesn't add that much bulk to your suitcase and um, they make for like better wear time if you're walking in them a couple of hours. So my plan is to bring this sort of like oatmeal colored pair of linen trousers from H&M um, and these will go with, you know, the black linen blouse, the green stripy number. It can go really well with this because it also has that creamy shade in the monkey blouse. It can go really well with the black top, um, the strapless top or the black t-shirt. So this is going to be a nice one and it will go with all of the different things. Now, if you've, n <laughs> now, if you've never tried pleated trousers when you're traveling, please do. I love wearing these in the summertime anyways. These are from Topshop though, so they're years old because Topshop is no longer with us, but they are a black and white stripey number. They're more of a culotte style, so they do show a bit of ankle. They look great with strainers or with uh, a pair of sandals. And this has been just with, so ma with me on so many travels because this doesn't crease and you can make it really, really small and it's, it weighs next to nothing. Um, looks very flattering on. This is the reason why I have some of these brighter options in the selection here, because I wouldn't put it with the green stripey thing, but the black top can work really well. I wore it last year with the green top on vacation, loved it. And this is where that blue top would come in as well. So the blue top with the black cardigan and then these trousers is definitely an outfit I will be showing you in a minute. So yeah, this is a really versatile pair of pants and I really like them. Finally, a pair of jeans shorts. Now this is a bit ambitious perhaps. I may have to swap this out for a pair of actual jeans when I do go out because I won't know what the weather is going to be like for my entire trip until like a day or two in advance when I'm actually going to be packing. I'm fil filming this a little while in advance, so I'm not sure yet. So I'm thinking jean shorts just in case we get really nice weather. Um, but I could also bring a actual pair of jeans, but I think the jean skirt can already function the way a pair of jeans would. So maybe if the weather doesn't get very nice, I may just stick to these three pairs of bottoms. And that brings me to the conundrum of shoes. I know for sure I'm gonna be bringing my Vejas. These are my favorite trainers for when I need to walk around a city for a lot. I tend to travel to cities mostly. Uh, I'm not much of a hiker or anything, so. This will do just fine. But where we need to take decisions by the time I'm going is, am I gonna go close toe with a pair of Dr. Martens or am I, am I gonna go sandals for my second pair of shoes? I tend to bring two pairs of shoes if I'm away for a week so it can alternate. But yeah, I'm thinking sandals because even though it's been raining, it is that kind of weather where you can wear jeans with sandals and a sweater, you know, that kind of weather. So I think this can work, but depending on how cold it gets, I may have to swap them out for the Dr. Martens, which I would probably wearing as I'm traveling because these are so heavy. The Vejas are a lot more lightweight, but yeah. I'm still undecided between these two. Um, very often, <laughs> I will bring these if I'm traveling in like the fall winter season and these more so in the winter, in the summer season. So may just have to bring these. These are by and other stories and they're very comfy. So now that I've shown you some of the items that I plan on bringing, let me show you some combinations of how I plan on wearing them.
So I hope you enjoyed seeing those outfits and some of the options that you could style it. Of course, there are many more options available here, but this is just how I would style it if I were to go on a trip. So I hope this was helpful for you, uh, that you got something out of it, that it gave you some outfit ideas of what you can do to travel if you are traveling this month or maybe in upcoming weeks, who knows? So thank you so very much for joining me today. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more by me. I come on here once a week. So, uh, and I think the next one is gonna be like a bookish video again. So a bit of books, a bit of, bits of fashion. That's what I tend to do on here. If you want makeup related content, then definitely check out my main channel and you can find the link to that in the description box down below. Thank you again for watching. Hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.